what's up guys KS Kid Oil here back again with another video so as per your request I'm making this installation guide of a Pocophone F1 on how to install a Pixel Experience ROM Plus Edition so this is going to be a step-by-step -step process make sure that you watch the video till to the end without missing any parts of the video so anyway guys this is my Pocophone F1 so right now I'm having a 6 gigs and 64 gigs variant here with me in my hands so uh, this is going to be the very easiest guide ever which I'm going to show you in a moment so as you can see I'm running the uh, UI so on my phone so let me quickly gonna show you the version which I'm running by going to the settings about phone and then you're gonna see the MIUI version it says 10.2.3 I'm actually running the older version I'm gonna tell you why in a moment uh, and also uh, before uh, flashing any custom ROM I strongly recommend you to make a complete backup of your phone just in case if anything goes wrong uh, you need to be on a safer side right so just gonna go ahead back up your photos videos uh, pictures data everything to your computer or laptop so it's always recommended guys just gonna go ahead and make a backup then the second thing is you need to have an unlocked bootloader as well as a TWRP custom recovery installed on your Pocophone F1 which is very very important I already made a dedicated video on those two topics so just gonna go ahead and check the link in the description down below and then watch that video and come back here and after that you're good to go and the last important thing is make sure that you're having a sufficient battery juice as you can see I have charged my phone up to 90% so which would be good and also uh, you need to go ahead and remove all of your lock screens fingerprints patterns or any kind of thing just gonna go ahead and all of, delete all of those things and also you need to uh, remove your me account which is going to be very very important just gonna go ahead and remove your me account as well as a sign out from your Google account so which is going to be very important just gonna go ahead and sign out uh, your Google account from here in, if in case you have signed in just gonna go ahead and sign out so once you're done everything now we are good to go so then go ahead uh, check the link in the description down below and download all of the required files and these are the files uh, which you need to download so as you can see these are the three files the first one is going to be the disable force encryption which is optional you can flash it or not it's up to you if you want to disable the encryption and the a second one is the firmware only file so from the latest stable ROM which is a 10.3.6 which is extracted from that stable ROM that's the latest firmware file uh, basically a pixel ROM plus edition requires a firmware only so you need to update the uh, firmware only partition so anyway just gonna go ahead and download all of these files and place it on your uh, internal storage of your device alright so once it's done I'm gonna go ahead and reboot my phone into the TWRP recovery to do so just gonna go ahead and hold the power button and then click on the reboot then click on tap to reboot again now while it's rebooting keep holding the volume up button until you see your phone boots into the uh, TWRP custom recovery so when you see that just gonna go ahead and let the keys go on now first thing first when you are inside the TWRP recovery so just gonna go ahead and then click on the wipe and then click on the advanced and then click on cache uh, Delvic uh, for some reason as you can see there are some touch issues with the latest version of the TWRP anyway I'm gonna leave it for a few seconds so that you can see the touch will gonna be back again so just gonna go ahead and select these four partitions don't select the internal storage and then swipe to wipe alright so when you swipe to wipe then we are good to go now you need to go ahead and choose the install option so this is where the people make a mistake so as you can see in the beginning of the video, so as I told you that I'm running the older version of MIUI, so which is a 10.2, right? That's a global stable variant. So this Pixel ROM Plus Edition requires a 10.3.6 firmware. So technically, I need to update to the latest firmware, right? So some people may through like this, just gonna go ahead and just select the Pixel ROM file and then just swipe to confirm flash. So this is where they're gonna be stuck. It's gonna say error seven. Basically, error 7 is an issue, so which is actually complaining that this ROM couldn't find the latest binaries of the vendor and firmware. So you need to update. So you can see it's actually showing that uh, this package requires a firmware from MIUI 9.6.20 developer build or the newer, so which means the stable builds in case the 10.3.6. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the home 
Then I'm gonna click on the wipe again, then click on advanced wipe, Delvic cache system and data, and then swipe to wipe. Now, once you did that, just gonna go ahead, go to the home page of the twerp recovery, then click on the mount option, make sure the vendor cache as well as the firmware partitions are mounted. So especially the firmware partition is must, just gonna go ahead and mount that partition. So once you did that, then go ahead, click on install and then select the firmware file. So this is the FW Beryllium 10.3.6. If you're flashing the normal pixel ROM, like not the plus edition, the normal pixel ROM, well, you need to download the latest vendor and firmware, which includes both vendor packages as well as the firmware binaries. So if you are doing the uh, standard pixel ROM installation, you need that file. So as of now, we are installing the plus edition. So we don't need the MIUI vendor. So the MIUI vendor is automatically included into the a plus edition. So all you need to do is you need to update to the a firmware. So just gonna go ahead and select the firmware file and swipe to confirm flash. So this is gonna take a few seconds. So as you can see, it's done. Once, you, once it's done, just gonna go to the home then click on install then again you need to select this uh, pixel experience plus edition then swipe to confirm flash so this time you will not gonna see that error 7 again because we have updated the firmware binaries so that's why it's not showing so it's gonna patch the system image it's it should gonna take a couple of minutes so you have to sit back and relax and don't interrupt your phone All right, so now we have successfully done the installation process of the Pixel ROM Plus Edition onto our Pocophone FVN. And one more last step that you can do it or not, it's up to you. It's a basically, it's an optional thing. So basically, you can flash the uh, disable force encryption zip file. So if you want to disable the encryption. So as of now, I don't need to flash that because I want my phone to get encrypted anyway. So once everything is done, just going to go ahead and reboot to the system. And that's it. Now your phone should be able to boot into the uh, Pixel ROM Plus Edition. So if you did everything correct, you were going to see the Google logo. I mean, if you did anything wrong, probably you're going to stuck at the boot loop or it's going to directly go to the fast boot. So yeah. That's pretty much about it. So you can see, we're gonna wait for a few minutes so to get into the boot screen of Pixel Experience Plus Edition. So as you can see, it's actually saying encrypting the phone. So you can see that. And if you don't want this happen, you can just go ahead and flash that disable force encryption zip file. So which is gonna be disable the a, I mean the ROM from being encrypted. So. You can see it's actually, my camera is actually having not a focusing issues. All right, guys, as you can see, the phone has been successfully booted into the welcome screen. So that's it, guys. This is it. So this is how you can install the Pixel ROM uh, Plus Edition onto your Pocophone F1. So, all right, so I'm actually typing the password. All right, so there we go. So once it's done, so you can see, you can see the welcome screen, connect to the Wi-Fi and set it up. So if you want to know more about the Pixel ROM, the first look, everything, just going to go ahead, watch my other videos. So I'm going to post the link in the description down below. Just going to go ahead and know everything about the what's new in Pixel Experience ROM plus edition just go ahead take the link in the description down below and then go ahead and watch that video so uh, anyway guys let me know your thoughts and ideas in the comments down below so that's it guys thanks for watching this is your boy ksk royal peace